Hi. In this video, I will show you how to make a modular card effect system in Unity. With this system, you will be able to compose your abilities and effects out of small components. No more hard coding of every single card effect. I will show you two approaches that work well in different situations. The system can also be used for other things like abilities and modular items. Let's go! So what will be built in this tutorial? Imagine that all your cards are scriptable objects and each card has an effect. Instead of hard coding every effect, we will create modular components like draw card or deal damage. Then we will be able to plug in those effect components into our card effect on the card. Want to have a card that deals 5 damage and draws a card? Just two components put together. You will be able to create many different components and arrange them the way you want. The two approaches that I'm going to show you are one approach where effects are scriptable objects and one approach where we will use plain c -sharp classes for our effect components. I will now show you how to implement both approaches and I will also tell you when to use which approach. And by the way, I thought about making a series on how to make a Slade Spire style game or a tutorial series about how to make a The Bazaar clone. Tell me in the comments if you are interested in one of the two and if there is enough interest, I will make the tutorial series. So let's start with the first approach. I have prepared the simple drag and drop behavior for our cards. You can watch my video about drag and drop to see how to implement something like this. What is happening here is that when we drop a card on the area, we will destroy the card and call the effect of the card. Each of the cards here has a different card data attached to it. We have three different card datas. In the card data scriptable object, you can have everything for your card. For the sake of simplicity, we only have our effect here, or better said, a list of effects. Those effects are our effect components. The effect component is a scriptable object as well in this first approach. I have called it effect SO so that I can differentiate it from the effect component of the second approach. We also have a create asset menu attribute at the top so that we can create instances of the card data. The effect SO is an abstract scriptable object. It only has an abstract perform method. In a real example, you could pass parameters like caster, target or game state. For this effect SO, we have different subclasses which represent the effect components. You can create all the different effect components that you need for your game. I have prepared two as an example, draw card and deal damage. In both subclasses, we implement the perform method. Here, you will write the logic that should be executed when you perform this effect component. For draw card, we just debug log draw a card as an example to keep it simple, but in a real example, you would just draw a card here. On the top of each of those subclasses, we need a create asset menu attribute so that we can create instances of those scriptable objects. In the deal damage effect component, we also just have a debug log to keep it simple, but we also have a public variable which holds the amount of the damage that we want to deal, which we also include in the debug log. Back in Unity, we can create instances of our different effect components. We have three different effect component instances here. In this approach, we have to create a different asset for each version of the effect. This means that we need a different asset for deal 1 damage and for deal 5 damage. We also have a draw card asset here. And as an example, I will create a damage tree asset so that you can see how to do it with this approach. This approach works good if you don't have many effect components and your card effects are built from those few components. This approach is not as good when all your cards deal a different amount of damage because then you have to create different assets for each effect. But on the other hand, it is very easy and fast to build your card effects in the card data asset out of those components. For this, you just have to go into one of your card datas and plug in the card effect components into the effects list. 
I have done it for our tree cards and have attached the data to the respective card game object. In play mode, we can now drag our card onto the drop area and when we drop it, we see that the effects are performed. In the console, you can see that we execute the right effect for each card. The second approach is a bit more complex and needs a free package from the asset store. But with this approach, you will be able to create your effects directly in your card data asset. This approach is really good if your card effects are complex and very unique for each card. First, make sure that you have downloaded the Serialized Reference Editor asset. It is free and will help us to show all implementations of an abstract class in the inspector so that we can pick and configure one. Another approach would be to use Odin, which would make it even a bit cleaner, but it's not free. And we also could write our own editor scripts, but why should we do this if there is an asset available for this? In the card data scriptable object, we have to change the list of effect SOs to a list of effect plane. And because effect plane will be an abstract plane C sharp class, the inspector will not show it by default. To show it, we have to add two attributes, serialized reference and SR, which is an attribute provided by the serialized reference editor package. The effect plane is an abstract plane class. It has an abstract method perform. Because the method is almost the same like in the other approach, we don't have to change any other code to perform this method. Also, make sure to have the system serializable attribute at the top. Otherwise, the class cannot be serialized. Our subclasses here are pretty similar to our subclasses in the scriptable object approach. But they derive from the effect plane here. Now in Unity, in our card data assets, we can compose our effects directly in the card. If an effect has public values like the damage amount here, you can directly edit them here. To make sure everything works, we test it in play mode. Now I have shown you two different approaches on how to create card effects in your card game. Both are very flexible and will be a good base for most games. If you don't have many effects and the values of your effects will have a small range, like deal 1, 2, 3 damage, you should go with the scriptable objects approach and enjoy the simplicity of it. It will also allow to tweak the values for your effect components in the asset and the inspector. If you want your deal 3 damage component to deal 4 damage for all cards, you just change it in one spot. On the other hand, the plain C sharp class approach will let you compose the effects directly on the cards. If all your cards have different effect values and can get complex, you don't want to create new scriptable object assets for each version of the effect. With this approach, you can create very complex abilities and card effects. That's it for now. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.